Hello everyone! This video will step through the process of enabling and setting options to receive updated records using WorldCat Updates in Collection Manager. WorldCat Updates gives libraries the option to receive updated records when WorldCat records containing the library's holdings have changed for titles in their knowledge base and ongoing query collections in Collection Manager, as well as changes for titles in the library's WorldCat holdings. WorldCat holdings refer to all of the library's holdings in WorldCat that the library sets via Collection Manager and other OCLC services like Connection or Cat Express. Some considerations when you set options for WorldCat updates. For merge records, Collection Manager is designed to deliver updated records for OCLC number merges for titles from collections that output records on an ongoing basis, whether you have enabled WorldCat updates or not for your library. You will also receive updated records when a URL changes is added or is deleted and when other changes to knowledge base data are made. For cataloging partner collections, if you enable WorldCat updates, you will want to preserve your provider data when you overlay updated records with those in your system since WorldCat update records will not have any of your mapped cataloging partner collection provider data. Information about updated records will not be included in cataloging partner reports. How WorldCat Update works. You begin by setting your library's WorldCat Updates criteria in Collection Manager. For instance, whether you want to get update records or not, as well as based on what types of changes. As changes to the WorldCat records meet your library's WorldCat Updates criteria, Collection Manager delivers updated records and apply your record customizations to these records. You then download the files of records and load these records into your library's local catalog. Let's look at setting up the WorldCat updates criteria in more detail. Under Collection Manager, I will navigate to Institution Settings then I will expand Mark Records Accordion. Now that I have enabled and customized Mark Records, I am ready to customize my library's criteria to receive updated records under the WorldCat Updates tab. Under the Updates option menu, I need to determine how to receive updated records. Select None if I don't want to receive updated records. Note that my library will still receive updated records under certain situations, for instance, records that have merged. Select Knowledge Base and Query Collections if I only want update records for my knowledge base or ongoing query collections. If I select Knowledge Base and Query Collections, I will be able to select the condition by which to receive updated WorldCat records. Select Receive Updates for any changes to WorldCat record, or I can select to receive updates for selected criteria if I want to specify the conditions. I will select Knowledge Base Query data sync collections and WorldCat holdings. Since I want updated records for my library's holdings in WorldCat, including those records my library set using Collection Manager or any other OCLC service. When I select this option, I will need to include the OCLC symbol or symbols for which I want to receive updated WorldCat records. Select Receive Updates for any changes to WorldCat record if I want an updated record for any changes made to the WorldCat record with my library's holdings set in WorldCat. Or 
I select Receive Updates for selected criteria since I want to specify the including and excluding conditions for which my library will receive an updated record. The system will process my chosen update conditions as follows. First, it will look at my including conditions to determine if the record should be delivered. Next, it will remove any records based on my excluding conditions. Last, it will deliver the remaining updated records. Each record will include the customizations I have specified in the Customize Records tab. Let's look at what I need to do once I choose to specify criteria for updated WorldCat records. First, navigate to the Include tab to define the changes that will determine the delivery of an updated WorldCat record. The Field Changes section let me specify the delivery of updated records if any of my specified fields are added, updated, or deleted in the WorldCat record. Notice that some of the fields are already set. I can edit or delete the existing fields or add a new field to include changes to another subject field, the 651 field with second indicator 0. Click the green plus button next to an existing field to add a row for another field. Notice the new field ready for me to begin. Click the first drop down and select 6 as the value for this tag. Click the second drop down and select 5 as the second value of this tag. Click the third drop down and select 1 as the third value of this tag. And then click the second indicator drop down and selects 0 as the value. I have added a new 651 field. Since the 7xx field changes are not needed, click the red minus button next to the 7xx field to remove it. In the encoding level changes section, I specify which encoding level I want to receive updated records when the encoding level in the WorldCat record changes to the selected levels. The default setting is all the encoding levels are selected. For instance, I don't want to receive records changed to encoding level 5. Click to uncheck the box next to it. I also unchecked 1, 7, and 4 since I don't want to receive WorldCat record changes to these encoding levels. In the Other Changes section, I can choose to receive updated records if there's a change to the date publication status or the record has changed to RDA standards. The default setting is No Options selected. Check the box next to 040 changes to include 040 subfield E RDA since my library wants to receive records that have changed to RDA standards. Under the Exclude tab, I specify the conditions to exclude certain records which can reduce the number of updated records delivered to my library. Click the box next to each of the material types to exclude it from the updated records. For example, check the boxes for computer file, mixed materials, and score to exclude records of these material types. I can choose to exclude electronic resources records. Click the question mark next to each resource for an explanation of the different types of resources. I can specify a publication date to exclude older materials, such as anything published before 1986. Enter 1985 in the box. The system will exclude records published in 1985 and earlier. I don't want to receive updated records for any records that were upgraded by my library. Click the box next to the applicable OCLC symbol, TSE, to exclude those records. Click Save to save my settings and enable WorldCat updates. And I get a confirmation that my settings are now saved. In summary, 
I have enabled and set options for WorldCat updates to first include records with changes to any 1xx fields to the 505 content note field as well as to 650 and 651 subject fields. Include records with changes to encoding levels blank, I, K, 8, and M as well as records where the 040 field change to include subfield E, R, D, A. Then exclude records of the types, computer file, mixed materials, and score. Exclude records published in 1985 and earlier, as well as records updated by my own library. Once the criteria are met, Collection Manager delivers the remaining records based on the delivery schedule I've selected in My Library's Mark Records settings. My Library downloads the files of records and loads these records into our ILS. If you need additional help, please visit https colon slash slash help .oclc.org for documentation, training, and contact information for OCLC support in your region. Thanks for watching.